Okay, so welcome to your uh, flip classroom activity. Uh, we got some code here and we got our, uh, you know, friendly faces. And uh, this is uh, uh, an introduction to fragments and also a little bit of navigation. So um, here we've got a four image fragment. It uh, has that great name because uh, it's got four images. And when you click on an image, you'll notice that it takes over the entire phone, which is called immersive mode in uh, in android and you know there's a little bit to uh to manage immersive mode when you when you click it again it goes away so i am i'm immersed in uh, this little creature's eyes um I'm, I'm immersed in fear so um that that really is all of the functionality of the flip classroom so in that sense it's fairly straightforward just to take a, a quick look over here at the um at some of the um code you know you've got an on create and we're doing something here which is um, bad uh, we are doing a lot of work on the main thread but we don't know that much about threads yet and we don't know how to how to put this work in the background but eventually we will but notice also that uh, this um, these these jpegs are in the assets directory uh, which is uh, over here I thought it was in the um, uh, resources but it's, it's not a resource it's an asset and uh, assets are just kind of nice. They're a way of, of putting stuff if you need uh, to get a hold of it. So uh, we do our, our standard thing. And then here, this this is new. And this is a um, uh, standard way to set up the navigation controller. And navigation uh, lets you get from one fragment to another. So the um, layout here is one fragment that has four images. And then you transition to one uh, fragment that has one image. And of course we have a four image fragment and we have a one image fragment up here. Uh, also, if you take a look at content main, the only thing that's here is this sort of fragment layout object, which is actually sort of a container that can contain different fragments. And it's actually hooked up to navigation and navigation tells us what fragments should go in that fragment container. And we're gonna start out, our start destination is the four image fragment. That's where we're started. And we have a fragment and we tell the system a little bit about our fragment. And then, uh, you know, we also have a fragment down here for our one image fragment. We tell the system a little bit about that. Great. And then uh, the one thing that you do notice here is uh, the one image fragment needs to get uh, an integer argument, although it does have a default value. And here there's an action and the action goes from the four image fragment to the one image fragment. And when we do that, we have a little animation, whatever, but you have to give it an argument. And we're telling the system that that argument is an integer. So this whole navigation thing and passing arguments is very nice because it allows us to treat fragments and fragment uh, swapping in a very abstract and type safe way. This is the type safety. The uh, system knows when we're going to four to one uh, that we're passing it an integer. Ultimately, that integer is going to be an index into this list of bitmaps. Okay. So that's uh, that's actually quite nice. Now, navigation is not the only way to deal with fragments there's also something called the fragment manager we'll get into that a little bit later but it's just more confusing to use uh, navigation when when your pattern of fragment use fits it navigation is really nice so we're going to use it and you know there's even uh, this um, image now this image says that you can go from four image fragment to one image fragment and you might think that, you know, we should connect one image fragment back to four image fragment because, you know, we want to get back there. Uh, the thing is, what that would create sort of an infinite recurse and we'd be uh, constantly creating fragments and never releasing them. So, in fact, what we do is we get into this fragment and then we actually kill the fragment and you'll you'll see that in the code. So that's a little bit of background. That's the... Um, behavior and, uh, you know, have fun.